Today's challenge is going to be a heavily infected Dell Inspiron N4010. Most of the applications, when you click on them, take anywhere from 5 to 15 minutes to open. There's obviously something seriously wrong with it. We're going to take this old, slow beast and turn it into a lightning-fast laptop once again. So stick around. I'm going to show you how I do it. I want to choose safe mode with networking. So I'm going to do what I can in safe mode and then restart normal mode. I'm going to look at browser extensions. Browser extensions are where a lot of times you run into some, some bugs. For example, password savers or password managers. Those are the absolute worst things in the world. And this machine, in safe mode, it pops right up and everything's working. But in Windows regular mode, everything is just super, super slow. I can't get anything to respond. I'm going to go through all the different items in the Windows Task Manager. Sometimes you can close one thing and all of a sudden everything starts working great. And that's usually a good indicator of where the problem is. I tried to bring up the run box about five minutes ago. It's still sitting here. I brought up the taskbar properties five minutes ago. It's still sitting here. So something is just hogging Windows memory. I have a program called Rkill, and I'll put a link to it down in the description for you where you can download it for free. So basically what it does is it checks all the Windows system processes. Anything that it finds that it's not supposed to be running, generally it will kill it. Of course, all that stuff will come right back as soon as you restart the computer. But if you have an active bug running, running our kill a lot of times can point you in the right direction also. Okay, so I've got the system configuration window open here. I'm going to run through real quick and look and see what all is installed. That'll give me a clue as to what is running every time the computer starts. And that will possibly tell me what's going on with it. We want to go to control panel. And I want to look and see what programs are installed. What I always like to do is I always like to click on the installed date. And that tells me what was installed recently. And that usually gives me kind of a clue as to where some of the issues may be coming from. Adobe Flash Player. That may be an issue. A lot of times people install Adobe Flash from a website that is uh, not legitimate. And what will happen is, is when they install it from those other sites other than Adobe's website, they end up getting a bunch of add-ons that come with it. Malwarebytes has been updated, and I'm going to click on Scan Now. And what I want to do is I'll just run a quick little scan. So now that I've done that, I'm going to restart the computer in normal mode. And then I'm going to just run Combo Fix. So we got Combo Fix finally running. You can see it's scanning for infected files. This typically doesn't take more than 10 minutes. Not true. However, scan times for badly infected machines may easily double. Uh, count on it. Obviously, the less infections you have, the quicker it goes. But it'll go through stage 1, stage 2, all the way to stage 50. Okay, so I've restarted the computer. And I have run Malwarebytes. And it froze up. I ran combo fix that froze up and I've run rogue killer and that froze up so what I'm gonna have to do now is I'm actually going to use the Avast antivirus program on the main menu here you just go down to protection click on virus scans for this one I'm gonna do a boot scan and as soon as I click on it, it says it runs when your PC starts up to reach places inaccessible to ordinary scans and then click on Run on Next PC Reboot. Avast Antivirus has kicked off a scan. I let Avast Boot Scan run overnight, and the results, I think, are pretty amazing. Look at this. When you click on stuff, it just instantly pops up. Look at this. It doesn't even look like the same machine anymore. Things that were taking 10, 15, 20 minutes now are popping up in just a matter of seconds. And that freed us up to actually go through and do some cleanup now. And so now, as you can see, I'm going to run Malwarebytes scan. I'm going to let this go in and find any leftover garbage. I'm going to rerun Combo Fix one more time. Okay, so you can see that Combo Fix has completed running. And when it finishes, it brings up this huge log file that shows you everything it did, everything it removed. And if you look at the difference between what the machine was doing when I first got it 
and what it's doing now it's literally night and day you can see now we've removed all the bugs all the viruses everything that was running that was slowing this computer down and with a few free downloads and a little bit of patience we took care of it and it's working perfectly with that said i hope this video helped you thanks for watching